Now we're going to do an actual titration. There's two parts to doing a titration. The first part you only need to do once, and that's getting your titration solution ready. Uh, you can use this titration solution for multiple titrations. However, I recommend that about every 90 days you'd get rid of it and put new titration solution together. And that's because the KOH, the sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, tends to oxidize with time and with air and with UV rays. And so you just, you just need to make sure you've got fresh stuff or you're going to get false readings. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take and add a liter of distilled water to a container. So there's a liter. Then I'm going to measure out with my very accurate scale one gram of the catalyst I'm going to use when I make biodiesel. My catalyst of choice is potassium hydroxide. So I'm going to balance my scale out. Okay? And then I'm going to set my scale at one gram. Notice it'll fall. Very carefully, I'm going to measure out a gram of titration of uh, KOH. And you'll be amazed at how little one gram really is. really important to wear safety gloves when you're doing this because this stuff really can burn. It's quite quite potent stuff. Okay, we've got a gram. What we're going to do is take this gram of our catalyst, we're going to introduce it to our water. And then we're going to allow this to dissolve. It will take a little bit of time to dissolve here. Sodium hydroxide takes forever to dissolve, by the way. It's one of the reasons I like to use potassium hydroxide. Is Potassium hydroxide will almost dissolve on contact. Um, once this is dissolved, we're going to be putting it in this jug. So I'm going to let this wait for a minute. We'll stop for a moment and come back when it's dissolved. Okay, we now have fully dissolved catalyst in our liquid here. So we're going to just pour this right into our jar. This jar, we will use this for our titration solution going forward. Very slowly I'm just getting it in there. And Okay, we finished pouring our stuff in there. I'm going to seal this up. And just to make sure it's good and mixed, I'm going to shake it a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is do an actual titration. You can put this away, your funnel away, and save it for when you need to remake your titration solution, as you're only going to need to have to do this once. Um, this is probably where you need to be the most cautious, though, because you are dealing with chemicals. One thing that's very important is you need to make sure that your chemicals always stay dry. If they don't, they'll ruin themselves. Much like hydrogen peroxide, if you leave the lid off, it will destroy itself as well. That's because oxygen from the air will react with it and neutralize it. If your chemicals are clumpy in any way, shape, or form, these are nice and clean, then you may need to get new potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. It's one very important point to note.